had a very leisurely start to our day because we have nothing planned. It is only a travel day. So we once again had breakfast from Musmani and then we just watched some TV. We finally packed up. We've run some errands. We went to the bank, the grocery store, and we got some gas for the car because, you know, very important. And we just needed to fuel up for our, how long is the drive? Uh, about an hour and 10 minutes, I think. Okay, yeah. not bad, pretty short compared to what we've been doing. So hour and 10 minute drive on to our next Costa Rican destination. After about an hour and a half's drive, we've now arrived in Catira, which is near to Rio Celeste, which we'll be checking out tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Tenorio Volcano National Park. It cost 2,000 colones to park here, which is about $5.50 Canadian, and it costs 12 US dollars per person to get in. I highly recommend that you buy the tickets ahead of time because otherwise you have to connect to their Wi Fi, which is a little bit weak, and buy them online once you arrive because you cannot pay for tickets once you arrive here in person with cash, credit, or debit cards. The good news about all of the national parks though is that there is one unifying website called CNAC and that is where you can get all of your tickets for all the national parks in Costa Rica. So use that as your one-stop shop for all of the visits to all national parks that you plan to do while you're here. Now that we are here though, then believe it or not, we're not actually here to see the volcano. The reason that we're here is because there is a waterfall that we've heard about called Rio Celeste. And so we are going to hike down to there to check it out. Let's get moving.
according to these signs, we've already walked 1.5k from the reception. And this is where the trails fork off. So basically you've got most of the other trails going this way, but down to the waterfall is this way. the Rio Celeste waterfall and let me tell you it was worth having to climb back up all of these stairs. The water is the most vibrant blue I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely stunning. It truly is. Like the colors and the sound of the rushing water it just makes it feel like you're in a dream. It's nuts. It was worth coming here just for this but I think that there is more trail that we can hike. So let's go see what we can discover. scientists in any way shape or form but our working theory on this is that just over here is bubbling because of geothermal activity happening underneath. end of the hike and I will say that the last kilometer was definitely more challenging than the front half just because the ascents and descents were far steeper but to me this is one of the most beautiful places that we've come to hike in Costa Rica. I think the rainforest is gorgeous and obviously hiking along the Rio Celeste River and seeing the waterfall the color blue is just unmatched and like nothing I've ever seen before. This is just another one of some truly amazing experiences that we've had in this country and Costa Rica just seems to be the gift that keeps on giving. It's been truly an amazing time so far and the best thing is it's not even over yet, there's still more to explore. Now we have to retrace our steps so I think it's about two and a half to three kilometers back to the car. This is the first time we've actually had to break out our ponchos here in Costa Rica despite it being rainy season. In our experience, we found that the weather is actually really good in the mornings and then it just rains in the afternoons. So I just feel really fortunate that we really haven't had to use them much and some might say we're kind of lucky. So we've been back from the national park for about the last hour and we took some time to just chill, have a couple of showers. And now just as we're heading out for lunch, then it has decided to heave it down, which is just lovely. But still, we're hungry, so we're going to persevere on and head to a local soda for some more traditional Costa Rican food. because the translation is actually spotted rooster and the reason for that is because the beans are fried till the juices come out and then that's when the rice is added in and it's all cooked together and the rice takes on this kind of color which apparently is akin to a spotted rooster 
This is an absolute mainstay of Costa Rican cuisine. I cannot wait to try it. I've got mine with sausage, Rachel's gone for one with eggs and tomatoes, and we are gonna dig in. That was absolutely delicious. The total was 5,000 colonas, which means that we paid about just over 13 Canadian dollars. I mean, the value for money is incredible. And the quality of the food that you get is absolutely superb. I think it's been very much a running theme as we've been traveling around the world that the stuff that we've always enjoyed the most consists of what sounds like quite basic ingredients, but they are so fresh, incredibly local, and when put together with the right flavors and seasoning and all of that kind of stuff, it can be some of the absolute best food that you've ever tried. And so I think for dishes like this, then I would love to recreate this at home. Nick is feeling pretty ambitious. I'm always a bit nervous to recreate them, although I would absolutely love to. Mm -hmm. We'll see what we can do. So we don't have much more planned for this region of Costa Rica. So we'll see you when we head to the next place in this amazing country. Until next time, though, take care. And keep smiling.